Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to talk about how we can interpret the unknown. So remember, the unknown is just where we're talking about finding the missing piece of information. So we're going to be solving for something that we don't know, something that's unknown. So our learning goal for today says, I can interpret the unknown in multiplication and division problems. We're also going to be talking about how we can draw models to help us and how we can use letters to represent that unknown as well. All right, so our first problem says Ada buys nine packs of highlighters with four in each pack. After giving one highlighter to each classmate, she has 17 left. How many highlighters does Ada have give away? So the first one, we gotta come right to our question, right? It says, how many highlighters does Ada give away? Can we solve that right away by knowing that there's nine packs of highlighters with four in each, and she gives one highlighter to each classmate, and there's 17 left. Can we figure out how many highlighters she gave away? No, we sure can't. We can't because I don't know the total of how many highlighters she even started with. So it doesn't matter how many she gave away or how many she has left. I need to figure out how many she started with. So. I'm going to come up to this part of the problem where it says Ada buys nine packs of highlighters with four in each pack. Do you guys think that will be able to help me figure out how many total highlighters she has? Yeah, I sure think so. All right, so tag you guys are it. Go ahead and pause the video. Go ahead and draw a model to help you solve this problem. Maybe you might want to draw a tape diagram. That might help you. So go ahead and do that and then figure out how many markers are in the nine packs of highlighters. So pause, click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here's how I solved it. All right, so I drew a tape diagram. I know that there's four in each pack, and I know that there's nine packs of highlighters. So I have one pack, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So my, all of this represents nine packs of markers, which I could say are, are highlighters, excuse me, which I could say is H for highlighters. That's what that represents. And H is the total number of highlighters. So as I went through, I saw that this is nine times four because I have nine groups with four in each group represents H, which is the total number of highlighters. So H equals how many? What did you guys come up with? 36, because 9 times 4 is 36. Awesome. All right, friends, remember you could do this a couple different ways. You could count by fours. You could use the commutative property and flip-flop those and count by nines four times. You could use some of those tricks that we learned with our fingers, right? So you put down that fourth finger, and then you have three tens and six ones to make 36. Um, you could... Um, solve this many different ways. So whichever strategy you chose to use, that's awesome. As long as you came up with H equals 36, and that's the total number of highlighters. So did we solve the problem of how many highlighters does Ada give away? No, not yet. We solved for how many total highlighters there were, and we found out that it was 36. So now we need to figure out after giving one highlighter to each classmate, she has 17 left. So if she started with 36 and she has 17 left, how are we going to figure that out, friends? I want you guys to write an equation that represents how many highlighters Ada gave away. Use G to represent the unknown, then find the value of G. All right, so pause the video. Go ahead and do those steps. So remember, you're getting an equation and you're solving the equation. I also want you to do like I did in the last step of the problem where I said H equals. You need to be labeling what that equals also when you're giving your equation. So you would have your equation that has G in it as your unknown, but then you have to solve for that. And you can't just write a number down. You have to be able to write G equals at the very end to represent the unknown. Okay. All right, so go ahead and pause the video. Write your equation, solve, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. All right, so I came up with 36 minus 17, right? Because we knew that my total was 36. 
and what she had left was 17. So to find that other part, I need to be able to subtract. And I know that we use G for how much that she gave away. So G equals 19. Okay. All right. Did you guys get that too? Awesome. Great job, friends. All right. So how many classmates does Ada have? Hmm, didn't really ask us that in the question, right? But we have to figure that out. So she gave one highlighter to each classmate and she had 17 left. So that means that she had 19. So she has 19 classmates. All right, let's take a look at another problem. So here we have Eliza finds a bag of 72 marbles and runs to share them with her friends. She's so excited that she drops the bag and loses 18 marbles. How many marbles marbles will Eliza and each of her friends get? Oh, that's such a bummer. She was so excited that she dropped some. Oh gosh, as she was running. See, don't run with your marbles, friends. <laughs> Otherwise, you might lose your marbles. <laughs> okay, so how many marbles will Eliza and each of her friends get? Can I solve that right now with what I know? I know that she has 72, she's got eight friends, and she loses 18 marbles. Can I figure out how many each one of her friends gets? Not yet, right? So what should we do first? Should we subtract or divide? What do you think? Because we're not going to add the marbles together. We're not going to multiply with these numbers because they're way too big for us to be able to figure out the unknown. Yeah, so we're going to subtract first, okay? Because we know that she was had 72 marbles and then she was running and then, uh-oh, she drops the bag and loses 18 marbles. So that means you have to subtract to be able to find that out. So you're going to write an equation to solve for the un the first unknown in our problem. And you're going to use m to represent the number of marbles Eliza has. So we have 72 marbles. She's running and she drops 18 marbles and she or drops the bag and loses 18 marbles. So go ahead, pause the video. Write an equation to model that using m and then solve for m. So you should have m equals and then your answer once you've solved for that unknown. Okay, if you don't have that, then you're missing part of the problem. Okay, so go ahead and pause, solve this problem, write an equation, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. All right, so here's what I came up with. 72 minus 18 equals M, and then and M equals 54. Okay, so now she has 54 marbles. Now that I solved for that, did I determine the answer to the question of how many marbles will Eliza and each of her friends get? Is it 54? No, it sure isn't. Not yet. So we have to find out how many marbles Eliza and each of her friends get. So I'm going to put M equals 54 up to the side. Now, what's the unit that I'm going to work with here? Like we know we have 54 and we have to split them between her friends. So first before we figure out the unit, let's take a step back. Are we going to multiply, divide, add, or subtract if we know how many total marbles there are and she has to split them with her friends? What does that mean? What do we do? What operation do we use? Yeah, we're going to divide, right? So now we need to figure out what unit are we going to divide by? How many are we going to divide by? So we can look at our problem and we could say, that we have Eliza and eight of her friends. So how many is that total? Yeah, it's nine because eight plus one equals nine. Okay, so now we're gonna draw a model that represents how many marbles each friend gets. So pause the video. You could draw a tape diagram to model that. So we have our 54 was our total and we're splitting that among nine friends. So go ahead and model what that might look like on a tape diagram. So click pause and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, so here's what I came up with. So make sure you pause if you need more time. All right, so I have my tape diagram and my tape diagram, I'm going to show that I have nine friends, right? Mar Eliza and her eight friends equal a total of nine. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
okay? Then I know this is the total of Eliza and her nine friends, which is also 54 marbles. But I want to label on here G because that's how much each friend is getting. And I don't know that yet. That's my unknown in this part of the problem. So now we're going to write an equation to solve the second unknown. We're going to use G to represent the number of marbles that each friend gets. So you're just going to write a division sentence that involves your 54 marbles and your nine friends and G is how many each friend gets. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video, write your equation, solve for your equation by saying G equals, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure you pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here's the equation I came up with. So I have 54, which is my total, divided by nine friends, and that equals how many each person gets. G equals, tell me you guys, what did you come up with for what G equals? Yeah, G equals six, because nine divided by, or 54 divided by nine equals six. You could check your work by doing nine times six to see if that equals 54. So each friend gets six marbles. Did you guys get that too? Whoop, whoop, awesome. Great job, friends. All right, so boom. You guys did a great job interpreting the unknown to model and solve multiplication and division problems. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you need any help, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends!